animal does come out at me, you will hear some swearing, so you're just going to have to cut that out. This project really, you know, has come about an incredible um, and selfless collaboration of people um, who, all of whom really, you know, I think have, 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 have taken one of the, the silver linings that COVID has, has brought about, which is, you know, really a, a sense of community, empathy, um, and ultimately collaboration and, and people trying to work together. Um, and we've been able to bring together um, the most incredible people, um, you know, not only within our own staff, but, um, you know, fr from outside, you know, um, production, uh, people in the production world, in the filming world, um, you know, people with photographic equipment and filming equipment, um, who are all basically donating their time um, and their effort and even, you know, to a degree, their, their, their actual resources. Um, towards this production um, where, you know, the objective is where we will travel around Namibia and spend time in the field with the various conservation organizations and, and personalities um, that, that we work with on a regular basis normally um, to document um, their work and their efforts um, when it comes to conservation in Namibia. Our hope really is to, to use the next six months or longer, um, you know, all depending on how long uh, this crisis continues to, to highlight these amazing projects um, and, and give people a, a real behind the scenes um, impression um, of what goes into these conservation projects. We have had an insane journey. We've had, um, we are now finished essentially 24 episodes, right? And I think what many people want to know at this stage, and I think it's very important for us to come and get across, is what is the COVID Chronicles? How did it start? What were the challenges? And what are we doing? Because I think not many people know we do three episodes a week and most of them get started the night before with incredible content. Mm. And I feel like you two need to just um, take the stage and tell us, walk us through this whole journey. And I put my two cents in here and there. Well, it all started with a phone call. I got a phone call from Tristan Cowley from Ultimate. He says, I've been following you on Future Proof Productions and I have this project and I would like to talk with you and see whether you're interested. And then we had a meeting and everything started from there. Mm. We then went out and said, okay, let's at least film what the tourism business and the people behind it in all facets do best, you know, to promote Namibia. And let's see what, what's happening in, con in, in conservation circles and despite the the lockdown that we had with no tourists and I think that, that was the biggest challenge yeah. um, and then that's how 
we then continued and, and the name Covert Chronicles, which a chronicle is sort of a, a, a historical documentation, something that happens in, in a specific time in history, which this um, seems to have become quite a prominent feature in human history, modern history anyway. And then we started um, with this huge ambition of turning out at least six episodes <laughs> and then a, a summary on a Sunday <coughs> every day and we said, cool. I think that's the most important thing is that we try to do an episode a day for six months. Pretty yeah, fast. that changed pretty much when we it were. It just wasn't feasible. Yeah. The yeah. team wasn't big enough. People ask us now how, who does this? So it's us, the basic, the core is us three in the bush. The logistics provided by Ultimate Safaris, they provide the vehicles, the petrol, the food. Incredible. Um, the contacts where we sleep, we've had the best accommodation. It's just uh, everybody sticks together and we do it for, for the cause and we know what it's for. So that was, it's quite a remarkable um, <coughs> synergy and energy and also a cohesion really in, in our purpose, you know, yeah. that, that we've managed to, to create. There's Pascal who, who drives the, the drone and supplies us with everything from memory cards and extra lenses and everything Two big lenses and uh, <laughs> and a whiskey and whiskey brandy and even hot water bottles last night get yeah, more and more important uh, insane i mean we haven't called it yet <laughs> so we we started off with great ambitions and i think we we managed to the nice thing about a team like this is that we're very agile and very um, flexible in achieving our goals our goal is always the same yeah if it should happen he comes to charge. Louis will be number one. You you just throw everything onto the ground. You lie flat on the ground. That he's able to shoot, not hurting you. You know, and the way that we achieve it, I think, um, has has grown and and mutated into something really very special. You know, that we can now with confidence say that we, we can produce uh, three episodes a week and, and we have a great following, people love it. And we are, we've just started. I mean, yeah. our ambition is great, but we've just started. And we, all I can say is thanks to you guys and, and thanks to everybody else who supports it. I mean, it's behind the scenes, so many people who support this project. Yeah. That, that awareness needs to be created now, this is the time, um, so that the world can see, like, like we said many times in the episodes, that conservation never stops, doesn't matter how, what pandemic we are in. And this is our duty to kind of create this awareness so that we can maybe keep boosting, let's just say funding, or just play a little part in the bigger picture. And I think the networking, the awareness, and just the value of the content that we get, it's yeah. just, we, our, our vision is so much bigger. I think capturing unique footage, the GoPros, I mean, we've, we've noticed all of a sudden after basically halfway through on Gava filming, which was only 10 days, and we produced 15 episodes. Um, it's, it's quite amazing. GoPro has got us some fantastic footage. I like the, the way that everything's been filmed from the conservation side. We're talking to, you know, some of the big guys in, in conservation and and we're not just learning about their personal stories, we're learning about the impact and how they're applying what they've learnt and how they're teaching others. Uh, the research side of thing, we've we've met some fantastic researchers so far, a couple more to go and then in the future as well. And apart from showcasing how difficult COVID is for communal conservancies and the people living here, is also the educational side of things. From the f episode number one, for example, it was 20, 23 minutes, 22 yeah. minutes. Do rhinos fart? <laughs> Do they fart? Yes, they fart a lot. <laughs> a rhino, no, who, doesn't, I had, I had a a rhino a, who doesn't fart is a problem, they're going to die. Yeah, yeah I, had a, I had a kid uh, on one of my safaris and he asked me that question and one of them, one of the white rhinos came uh, kind of moved past and was uh, defecating and you know with it came a nice wind and uh, of course that answered his question <laughs> you know quite quite interestingly 
uh, when vets look at rhinos, they often compare them to horses. Yeah. So they have a very very similar internal anatomy to horses. Really? So, you know, I mean, if you, I don't know if you've worked with horses, but if you don't get any gut sounds or gut movement in yeah. a horse, that's a bad sign. It's a oh. sign of colic and other issues that could, you know, kill that animal. So you're always looking, you know, passing of wind and, and that sort of thing yeah. in rhino is important. Thanks for the sighting. I don't know if they, they probably call you the, the rhino whisperer. <laughs> that's, that's guiding horse shit, man. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> what it's morphed into is, is pretty unique. So you've got that conservation side, the research, and then the tourism, and showcasing uh, the naturalist guides of Ultimate uh, is quite, quite enjoyable to watch. Mm, yes. It's a lot, of, a lot of fun has been had on set. Obviously, it's quite serious when you get into situations um, where, you know, safety needs to obviously be number one for the crew. So we're making those judgment calls. Grab some pads and stuff and start making a noise. Uh, maybe Alpha can grab a fire stick just to deter the cubs from coming in here because if the cubs come here, then the lionesses will come here. So if it comes to that point, you guys really just need to listen to us and just follow our instructions. Don't freak out. gone but we were very close okay i think you know it it have another mission all right thank you for watching <laughs> you know innate objects and uh, just shows you how evolution um can uh, i don't know what i want to say <laughs> <laughs> the camera always looks so large. <laughs> um, Tim, yes. are you ready? Rolling. Camera's rolling. You can really connect your black mic. Uh, it's 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 I'm connected. Oh, okay. That's my injury, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shush, man. We, we're rolling. Um, good day, everyone. We are joined by Dr. Julian Fennessy. She's taking a poop. Nice and fresh. Just like this morning's coffee. Life enriching journeys, guys.
Herbert Chronicles Smart Ass Edition. Okay, we just hold it, hold it. So there you have two generations, yeah. right, walking past us. Joining me this morning is Dr. Rodan Vaud. I did get a, a a message the other day that Two Beards Coffee from Swakopmund actually have supplied us with some coffee. So thank you very much, Two we'll, Beards. We'll drink it. Uh, we're we'll going to be it. drinking it. Thank you very much. It, it makes all the difference. You makes know. us 6 a.m. before the sun's even up, misty mornings. Yeah, it. so <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we, what what I think nobody understands is that we th this is not a. This is not a high-tech production. So our, our editing suite is currently it's it's the the Ritz. Ritz yeah, and we're Ritz in a we're in a, a storage container in the, the backyard at the Hua tented canvas. camp. But um, the, usually it's somewhere in the bush in a tent or under a gazebo. Gaze in <laughs> we're in Damaraland. We had a gazebo. Thank you, um, Paratus. Paratus, for giving us the V set. So we had very fast internet. Um, and they actually, <laughs> when we went, do you want to have a gazebo taken? Yeah, sure, we take it along. And luckily we had it because there was simp literally the, the trailer 
with the VSAT and the generator, which we had to pump petrol out of a car to fill up. Oh, and a broken spark plug that we had to fix. Then we had to fix it. So Cubon, Cubon, Cubon. We fixed the spark plug <laughs> and we got the generator going, so we had power. Cubon fixes drones as well, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's that's. We crashed right. his drone. So it's not like a high tech studio. Food, I must say, <clears> we had. Sensational, man. No? I yeah, usually Romanzo. get in. Romanzo. Romanzo. Chef. Chef Romanzo. He definitely spot as well. Spark plug guy. I need to adjust my f stop because the sun went down. So one beer, one. I love it when I talk. You guys <laughs> up my whole little routine here. Yeah, <laughs> Crikey! <laughs> it's got to start the whole thing again. Wow. Have an incredible <laughs> little team going on here. Yeah. yeah, it's epic what you guys do. It's epic. It's uh, just post putting something else in focus because I I used to come here so many years as a tourist you don't know mm. you really don't know what's going on it's a tremendous work that all these people are doing yeah and just to protect what already was there yeah it's did you just do that? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, just checking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, enjoy the editing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but a top bloke anyway, Pascal. You're yeah. a top bloke, and mm -hmm. it's great having you when you can make yourself available. Yep. You know, it's yes. your behind the scenes work with stills is incredible. Yeah. Yep. But also the morale you know that you bring it's it's really it puts a yeah. smile on all of our faces it does daily yeah <laughs> always, and, always in a good mood and yeah, a lot of whiskey try, have you always have whiskey right <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> yeah we should we should uh we should probably start rolling back as well before it gets yeah. dark on the pass the timekeeper but we <laughs> also need to thank simon for sponsoring a uh, vehicle you know the Ultimate Safaris with with tires for the vehicle, the COVID Chronicle film vehicle, and also Safari Engineering, yeah. who's servicing the car. <laughs> right, let's go. Thank you very okay. much for listening. Let yeah. you know. And Cheers. Cheers. And cut. Cheers.